Blessed be, sweet ones. This is Lady Enchante, and today I've just been processing some herbs to use for incense and other non-edible magical purposes. Using foods is really important as a kitchen witch, but we also have to remember to use these things for our spells and our ritual work and for setting and growing intention. So I just thought I would share with you just a few of the things I'm doing and the herbs that I'm processing. These have been taken down from their gauze bags tied with ribbons uh, to dry a little bit on the countertop for now. And they will be put back up and suspended in their little gauze bags, which look truly marvelous against the longer sprays of uh, coriander, and dill down here, episodes. So anyway, let's go over a few of these herbs. Right here we have this itsy bitsy globe basil. It makes these tiny little spheres of the most perfectly shaped little basil leaves. Here we have uh, frilly purple basil. It's also called fancy purple basil. The traditional folk name is uh, Siam Queen Basil. It's now called Thai Basil also, or Fancy Thai Basil. And then we have traditional basil right here that grows in uh, just about any kind of soil. And it will grow up to two feet tall and three, four feet wide. It's quite big. So you can make a nice hedge out of that. Now all of these basils are just terrific for eating. They're also terrific for love. They create harmony in a new home and they also create calm and they will help you to lose weight if you can get someone to slip one under your plate, a little leaf of it under your plate uh, without you knowing it. Uh, you can learn more about that in my skinny summer spell on Hub pages. That's H-U-B pages. Just put in Lady Enchante and you will find my spells and free recipes there. Here we have, these have gotten a bit too much sun, but these are catnip leaves. Now these I'm going to use in ritual work because they have gotten so much sun. Uh, the herbs that I harvest to offer on my website, which is http three w's a dot lady enchante another dot and then info are very high quality and certainly not overly sunned. But for my personal use, this is perfect. Coriander is wonderful for your relationships. Um, especially romantic, um, connecting you to your partner deeply and being the most enchanting woman you can be as a kitchen witch and as a partner. Pair it with the catnip and there you go. That is an incredibly powerful love incense. If you're using fresh, make a tea. Put it in some foods that you're making. Feed them to your lover. Share them with your lover. Here we have parsley, which in the old days was believed to remove poisons from food if you simply sprinkled some on top, which is why we still to this day have parsley garnish on our foods. Um, this is sage, and sage, as you know, is a really quick uh, luck and money uh, draw. It's a magnet for prosperity and abundance and certainty that we can uh, survive and support ourselves. This is a salad green arugula, very powerful, very powerful protector. Um, it can chase away anything that you might not like to have around, any uh, energies that are being uh, put your way that are not serving your higher calling. As always, when we are uh, exposed to those kinds of energies. We know that those who put those about, all that negativity, they can't use our energy. So why did they bother in the first place? 
So we know enough to not send anything naughty their way. We do know enough to simply protect ourselves with things like arugula. Parsley is a great one. Um, sage is a terrific, terrific protector. So make sure that you use those things. These two, these three work well together if you have a legal case. Just to make sure that the highest and greatest good comes out of the whole thing and you come out winning. Uh, here's some chamomile. That's great for women. Just calming the nerves and being peaceful. And we do know that because coriander, um, it helps the men folk get a little bit more interested in their beloveds. And we'll just leave that right there, ladies, won't we? Thank you very much. But it's also great for women um, as we flow with the moon phases. If you add this, the coriander, now we know the coriander is the seeds and the cilantro is the weeds. It's an easy way to remember it. Uh, the cilantro is the leaves of the plant. Now let's hop over here to our chamomile. If we use parsley, chamomile, and cilantro with basil, any of these basils, we can create a very relaxing tea. A sun tea is delicious. It will calm you and soothe you, especially if you add some of this wild mint. So, wild mint's another great protector, and as is dill. Dill you can put in wreaths, you can hang it up and just dry it and use it as an incense. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like a mermaid hair. So, there's another one. Now here's a very special one from our friends to the south in Mexico. It's Epizores. And Epizores is a wonderful herb that we add to black beans to give it that secret, super special, south of the border taste. It's also an enormous protector. You will love working with Epizores ma magically. It's really lovely. So I think we've covered all the herbs here except for this lovely clementine peel. Any of the citrus, but particularly oranges, clementines, tangerines, are for love. To secure a loving, peaceful, harmonious vibration in your closest relationships, starting with your primary partnership. Also, if you grind this up, this will make a terrific allergy remedy. Grind it up. Make a tea of it. Make a sun tea of it. Put some parsley in. Parsley is a really super duper uh, one for balancing the digestion. It's extremely refreshing. Uh, I recommend parsley with the mint and maybe just a touch of basil for those who are using a variety of um, allopathic treatments as part of their holistic treatment uh, for cancer because it's so wonderful for balancing the tummy. So, those are just a few little thoughts that I had while I was sorting my herbs. And like I said, these are all going to be used for my personal use for incenses. And I'll have to take you for a walk in my garden soon so that you can meet all the plants while they're all being lively and showing off for you. And we'll have a nice little garden walk together. In the meantime, feel free to visit my site and visit my articles at Hub Pages. Love to have you drop by. I have a few special offerings coming up on my website that are one of a kind and uh, first come, first served only. So get your PayPal account ready, and uh, we will hop back here together soon to have a few more herb chats. So Sister Kitchen Witches, blessed be, love and light to you, peace and happiness, health and wealth, joy and ease. You are loved and appreciated and treasured. Thank you so much for doing the Kitchen Witch Path. Blessings.